Thank you all for coming today. This is really an impressive crowd of family and friends. And on behalf of my class, I would like to say thank you for being here and acknowledging our accomplishment. Thank you also to the instructors and staff of the nursing program for your guidance and instruction along the way. All of us have traveled many metaphorical roads to be here today. Some have traveled the express route, and others have had many detours or pit stops along the way. But the most important thing is that we are here today. To my class, I also want to say thank you. Thank you for the friends we have made, the lessons we have learned together, and for all making it here today. I'm really proud of you. We should all be proud of ourselves, and today is the day to celebrate this accomplishment. Today, I celebrate not only the future, but the past as well. Because for me, this was a journey that has taken a very long time. Along the way, I have been sidetracked and even stumbled a bit. So today, I stand before you grateful and relieved to have made it here. Standing before you, I want to share a small part of my personal journey with you. When I was first asked to speak today, I was very hesitant. But I realized that I should take this time and opportunity to open my heart and share with you about one person who has greatly influenced me in becoming a nurse. Before I tell you about this person though, let me share a quote with you that recently struck me as poignant. It says, a thousand words will not leave so deep an impression as one deed. It's by Enrique Ibsen. When I read those words, I realized that Ibsen's words summed up why I had chosen to become a nurse. I have lived my entire life with exposure to nursing. In my lifetime, my mom has always been a nurse. Of course, while I was younger, it didn't matter to me that she was a nurse because she was just my mom. As long as she provided for what our family needed, I was happy and everything was okay. And when I got older and was starting to decide which career path I should choose, she did not tell me to avoid nursing, but she often told me nursing was too hard. I think she wanted the best for me. So I listened to her at that time. I avoided all health-related fields and chose finance. <laughs> Eleven years ago, I was becoming tired of the high-tech world and the finance world. It was very impersonal, and I didn't feel like I had a connection with people. Sure, the benefits and the perks were good, as we all know around here, but it gave me no personal fulfillment. In July of that year, my mom's best friend, Becky, whom I loved as if she was my second mom, found out that she had malignant tumors on her heart. She came home at the end of July and died on August 31st. During that month, I did everything I possibly could to be of comfort to Becky. Her mom, her husband, and her son, all people I was very, very close to. I visited almost every day after work. I brought some meals. I came with stories. Sometimes I would bring dinner, I, I would scratch Becky's back, which was one of her favorite things, and I also prayed, prayed that somehow Becky would survive. But somehow, what I did was not as comforting as what my mom did when she walked through that door. My mom was, Be was Becky's best friend, and she put on her nurse hat, just like the one I'm wearing today, <laughs> not really, but metaphorically, <laughs> when she walked through that door, and somehow, her being a nurse took over. Because my mom was a nurse, it brought comfort to Becky and her family. My mom acted as Becky's advocate by calling the hospice nurse to increase the morphine dosage when Becky's pain was unbearable. She was also there to listen and use her therapeutic communication skills when Becky needed to express her emotions. These were all things that seem very simple now, especially after the last two years of school. But at that time, I wasn't able to do any of that for Becky in her time of need. When Becky died, I knew then that I wanted to learn to be helpful 
to those in need like my mom was in that situation. So no matter what my mom said all those years about nursing being too hard while I was growing up, it was being with her while Becky was dying that I got the deepest impression and learned what I wanted for my life. I admired my mom for her care of Becky and Becky's family. They all appreciated her and I did too. The love and devotion she gave her best friend, along with the intangible present she gave to Becky's family in their time of need, was immeasurable. So, no matter what my mom said in all the early years of my life, I knew I wanted to be just like my mom and become a nurse. Today, we are all one step closer to being a nurse. We are fortunate that we will be able to use the skills we have learned to touch people's lives and comfort them. We all have the opportunity to make a difference, heal, and to be there in times of need. We are not at the end of the road here, but only at a fork. It is time for us to make choices, and the path we are on is admirable to many and will bring untold rewards. Our lives will never be the same. We have achieved a wondrous goal. Congratulations to the two class of 2009. Thank you. Now if the class would please stand and walk to the sides. We will now be hearing from Janice Ryan, the faculty speaker by